Jay Drone here. What's going on, guys? Mr. Blue Eyes with the hero on it again. We're recording. We're going to put that down. We're going to grab this guy. Both your sway switches, left and right, you need to have them on two if you want it in GPS mode or altitude hold mode. You don't really want to screw those up because if you have them in a different combination, the thing might go into orbit mode, it might go into the track mode. It might have a headless mode, I think. And then uh, you're out. So fire motors, everything looks good. We're going to go ahead and go up. As you can see, it kind of leveled itself out. GPS quad, all lights are stable. We have a wind going this way. It's lightly flexing that way, but for the most part, this boy's sitting. That was last video though. We showed you that it could sit last video. So what I actually want to do is get a little video, nothing crazy. And again, I'm worried uh, that my hat cam is going to fail here. And again, scoot, she's sitting, she's sitting. This was originally designed as a camera drone, a very mechanical one, uh, because it had a brushed gimbal that you were able to control by the controller, tilt up, tilt down, whatnot. Again, she's sitting, it's windy. If you could check the trees to the left and the right, if you could see them, they're moving slightly. Up there, there's no cover, it's sitting. This is excellent quad, it got a lot of hate because uh, there was no app interface. There was no, uh, there was, there was nothing really to tell you how to use this besides terrible instructions that were in, uh, in English that were translated from Chinese to English very poorly. All lights are stable. This fl thing's flying stable. I haven't calibrated this thing probably in about two to three years. Uh, I highly recommend you doing so if you are moving locations. I've stopped off the sticks. You could see how long it took to stop. It took about three seconds to stop moving in the perpetual motion that it had. And then the GPS grabbed, it's sitting there, it's not moving. This quad is solid. And again, it's like a six-year-old drone. So tell me about quality testing. Where are the other guys at? Tell me who else is out here flying six-year-old drones with new technology on it, with a new setup, the joint's working exactly how it should, despite the fact, this is Mr. Hate Me, despite the fact this drone got so much hate from the drone community that I got the hate leashed out on it. Mr. Blue Eyes in full effect. We're gonna go ahead and drop it downfield. Guys, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, please subscribe to the channel. I greatly appreciate it. Hit that like button. That helps the video get recognized by other people who may not know J Drone. Just doing a little fly around. This thing's quick, man. And then, boom. I let off the sticks. It was heading towards that pine tree. Joint stopped. So we're gonna go over here and I'm just gonna bring it back down. Again, if I had a proper hat cam set up, I'd fly this a lot more aggressively, but I don't want my cell phone hitting the ground again, which it did. But I mean, look, I'm gonna fly towards myself and let off the stick. Where is it? I can't see it because I'm on bill. Boom, it's sitting right there. It's sitting right there. I'll do it again. We're gonna fly downfield. Gonna corkscrew back to myself. Gonna come back. I'm gonna let off the sticks. That's what a GPS quadcopter should do. I think back in the day I actually grabbed this thing, pulled it, pulled it, pulled it, pulled it, let go of it, and it went back to the GPS spot. I'm gonna not do it with this uh, because it's again a six-year-old drone. I don't want to put extra tension on the ESCs, the GPS board or whatnot. Look, you can see that tree behind it. And we'll go ahead and pull back, fly back, fly back, fly back. We're losing a little bit of altitude while we're doing it. We let go of it, it goes back to the original altitude. We're gonna go forward. We're losing altitude, losing altitude, slightly, slightly, let go of the sticks. She sits, looks good. Guys, again, smash the subscribe button. I've been real with y'all. You got some drone channels out there. They ain't even drone channels no more. You got guys that was talking heavy. I'm the drone king. What up, what up, what up, what up? And then where they at? They flaked off because the free drones stopped coming. So the actual interest wasn't even there. 
my interest is here. I worked all week, man. I worked all week for my company, somebody else's company. Um, Boil Minerals, if you don't know nothing about that. I dig crystals. This is epic. This thing's actually flying well. I think we got it there. There's our battery, which we'll go ahead and set it down. Um, I think we got a shorter flight time last time only because uh, the battery wasn't perfectly conditioned. I think the more we fly this battery, the better conditioning it'll get. Whoa, don't, don't like that. Don't like that. That's the only thing I was worried about because you heard the stress on the motors. Let me just go ahead and fire these motors. Everything sounds good, though. You don't want it tipping over. I was worried about my setup. No binding. Everything sounds good on it. Um, a feature I wish it did have is if the motors get binded up, it shuts down. But again, guys, hit the subscribe button. Questions, comments, concerns, put it down below. I'll get at you.